Captain Jonah Harris stood at the helm of the Nomad, her gaze fixed on the swirling maelstrom of clouds that marked the upper atmosphere of Acheron. The planet, named for the river of the underworld in ancient mythology, lived up to its ominous moniker with a landscape scarred by volcanic eruptions and rivers of molten lava. We're about to enter the atmosphere Luca Ramirez, the pilot, announced, his hands steady on the controls despite the tension that filled the air. Strap in, everyone, it's going to be a rough ride. Mia Zhang, the engineer, double-checked her suit's seals and respirator connections. I've adjusted our suits to filter out the worst of the toxins we'll encounter down there. But keep your guard up, Acheron's atmosphere is unpredictable. Theo Barnes, tech specialist, was running diagnostics on their salvage equipment. Sensors are calibrated for the Titan's last known coordinates. If that ship's down there, we'll find it. Jonah nodded, her expression grim. The Titan carried more than just military secrets, it held personal artifacts belonging to those who had served aboard comrades she had lost in the war that seemed to have no end. This isn't just another salvage op, she said, her voice barely above a whisper, though the comm system carried it throughout the cabin. We're here to bring back a piece of our history to honor those who fell. As the nomad pierced the cloud cover, Acheron revealed itself in all its desolate glory. Rivers of lava snaked across the darkened landscape, and plumes of toxic gas billowed into the air, painting the sky in hues of orange and red. Looks like hell, Theo muttered, his gaze locked on the external monitors. It's home for the next few hours, Jonah replied, her eyes scanning the readouts, searching for a safe landing zone. Luca, set us down near those rock formations, they should give us some cover from the winds. The landing was anything but smooth, the nomad shuddered violently as it descended, buffeted by the toxic winds that howled across the planet's surface. But Luca's skill as a pilot was unmatched, and he managed to bring them down in one piece, though everyone's hearts were racing by the time the engines powered down. Welcome to Acheron, Luca quipped, breaking the tension as they began to unstrap from their seats. Jonah was the first to stand, checking her weapon and salvage gear. Let's not waste any time. Mia, Theo, you're with me. Luca, keep the Nomad ready for a quick liftoff. This planet doesn't take kindly to visitors. Stepping out onto Acheron's surface was like entering another world. The heat from the nearby lava flows was almost overwhelming even through their protective suits, and the air was thick with ash and poisonous gases. But the team pressed on, driven by a purpose that went beyond the promise of salvage. Their journey to the Titan's wreckage was fraught with dangers. They had to navigate around sudden fissures that opened up in the ground, spewing molten rock, and avoid geysers of toxic gas that erupted without warning. I've got a bad feeling about this, Mia said, her voice tense as they paused at the edge of a particularly large lava flow. We all do, Jonah acknowledged, her gaze fixed on the horizon where the silhouette of the Titan loomed. But we've got a job to do for the Titan, for the Coalition, and for those we've lost. The dialogue was interrupted by a low rumble that grew louder, the ground beneath their feet trembling. Volcanic activities increasing, Theo warned, checking his data pad, we need to move fast. Pushing forward, the team reached the Titan. The sight of the wrecked ship, its hull torn open by the crash and half buried in volcanic rock, was a sobering reminder of the cost of war. We're here to recover what we can to make sure their sacrifices weren't in vain, Jonah said, her voice firm, though her heart ached with the memory of friends and family lost. Let's get to work. As they began their salvage operation, the planet seemed to conspire against them, the ground shaking more violently and the air growing thicker with ash. But the team worked with efficiency and determination, fueled by a shared resolve to bring a piece of the Titan and their fallen comrades home. As they delved into the heart of the Titan, the echoes of their footsteps rang hollow against the metal corridors, now twisted and deformed by the crash. The darkness was oppressive, broken only by the beams of their flashlights which cut through the gloom like swords. Each room they entered was a testament to the chaos of the ship's final moments, with personal belongings scattered and terminals blinking dimly, desperate for a connection that would never come. Jonah led the way, her military training never more evident than in the way she navigated the labyrinth of destruction. Keep your eyes peeled for the data cores, she reminded her team, her voice steady but not without a touch of sadness. Anything that can tell us what happened here and why. 
Mia, always the pragmatist, focused on the technical aspects of their mission. The environmental controls look like they might still have some life in them. If I can get them online, we might clear some of this toxic air, she said, kneeling beside a partially intact console. Theo, meanwhile, was scanning the debris with his portable sensor unit. There's something not right, he murmured, his brow furrowed in concentration. I'm picking up energy signatures that shouldn't be here. It's almost like... Before he could finish, the ship trembled violently, a roar filling the air, as if the planet itself were voicing its displeasure at their intrusion. They were thrown to the ground, their equipment clattering beside them. Everyone okay, Jonah called out, pushing herself to her feet. She helped Mia and Theo up, checking their suits for breaches. Yeah, but that was too close, Mia said, her voice shaking slightly. This place is going to come down on us if we're not careful. Luca's voice crackled through their comms, tinged with urgency. You need to get out of there, now. Seismic activity is off the charts. Acheron's not going to wait around for us. Jonah knew he was right. The mission was a risk from the start, but now it was a death sentence. All right, team, we're pulling out. Grab what you can and let's move fast. Their retreat was a race against time, the ship groaning ominously with each tremor that shook its frame. They had managed to secure some of the data cores and a handful of personal items, small tokens of the lives lost on the Titan. It was a meager haul, but to Jonah, each item was a precious memory, a piece of the puzzle they were trying to solve. As they neared the exit, Theo stopped, his sensor unit beeping wildly. Wait, there's something else here. A signal, faint but distinct. It's coming from the lower deck. Jonah hesitated, weighing their options. Another tremor rattled the ship, dust and debris falling around them like rain. There's no time, she decided, her heart heavy with the decision. We have to go. They made it back to the Nomad with seconds to spare, the volcanic landscape erupting into chaos as they lifted off. From the cockpit, they watched as the Titan was swallowed by the planet, its secrets buried once more beneath layers of ash and lava. As Acheron faded into the distance, the mood aboard the Nomad was somber. They had survived, but the cost of their mission weighed heavily on them all. Jonah looked at the items they had salvaged, each one a silent reminder of the lives lost and the ongoing war that had taken so much from them. We did what we could, she said, her voice barely a whisper, we'll honor them and we'll keep fighting, for them, for us, and for a future where this war is nothing but a distant memory. The journey back was long, the silence a stark contrast to the chaos they had left behind. But in that silence there was a sense of unity, of shared purpose. They were more than just a team, they were a family, bound by the battles they had fought and the losses they had endured. And as the stars stretched out before them, Jonah knew that their fight was far from over. But whatever challenges lay ahead, they would face them together, their resolve unbroken, their spirits undimmed by the darkness of the universe. Love the story? Please be sure to leave this video a like, it helps us a ton. If you'd like to help the channel and help us get more stories out there, you can subscribe and drop a comment too. Thank you all for getting us this far.